the day. Um, CDD came out with a report, a survey, and the survey is quite simple. I'm sure you're aware of the survey that 59% of Ghana, the people you govern, claim that the economy that you are running is heading the wrong direction. Um, as, of course, the communication director for the governing NPP. What do you make of the survey, sir? Thank you. Let me say uh, very good. Uh, is it afternoon to the people you say we are governing, which is true. It's by their consent that we are governing them. And then to say, to some extent, given certain circumstances, they may believe they are right. But looking at the picture holistically, uh, indeed, we are headed in the right direction. What we are seeing now is the lag effect, the impact of policies that will give us sustainable economic management. Where we are is at a crossroads. We either plumb for sustainable economic management practices or we go for the scattered approach, which has always brought us back over the years. The MPP, we believe, and our record demonstrates that we are better managers of the economy. But the people disagree, and the survey claims. No, I, I, I will tell you, this is one in the second line of service. The first one in 2017 gave us a glowing report. Mm. And I'm saying that what they are seeing now is a lag effect of the transitional policies. Because we are in transition. Many don't realize that. The last three years, you've been on transition for the yeah. past three years. Exactly. Do you know how so long you promise Ghanaians a better life the moment you, 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 promise you start governing them? We promise Ghanaians a life which, where the IMF did not have our throat. We inherited an economy which was under stricture. We inherited an economy which we had to recover, restructure, restore to good health. Because if you don't have an economy in good health, you cannot progress the economy. Unless and until you have an economy in good health, you cannot progress the economy. And I'm saying that the transitional period between getting this economy in 2017, where there was eagerness, there was hope of the future, and to sustain that future, we had to take dramatic decisions. Decisions that were necessary to restructure and rebuild this economy. And the impact of those decisions are the ones that are being felt now. The, the one will clearly say that the, the NPP is failing to communicate properly to the people of this country. If, you, if by the explanation you're giving me that you're in a transitional period and what is happening is for the betterment of the future as far as the economy is concerned, to sustain the economy, then your party and your government is failing to do the right thing by communicating to, to, to the to, people. To, to, to some extent, what are doing on the ground, to yeah. some extent, to some extent, you would see it that way. But for many, many, many rating agencies, many, many observers, we are on track. If we are not on track, the World Bank would not have left. The IMF would not have left. If we were not on track, they would have still been here. When we were inheriting the economy, the IMF refused to go. Why? Because there was a fundamental deficit which had to be addressed, the financial sector crisis. It had not been addressed. Now, in addressing that crisis, you have a lag and a knock-on effect. And that is being felt now. But as it settles down, and the over 4 million people whose deposits have been protected begin to have access to their deposits again, banking sector is in full flight, you realize that this interregnum was just a passing phase. Again, we had Galamsey, where indiscipline and all manner of things were happening, feeding a black economy in excess of a half a million people. And the president takes a bold decision that this can't go on because the cost is more than the benefits the few people who are gaining. The national cost to all of us, compared to the private benefit to a few, was such that a bold decision had to be taken. And that decision was taken. That constricts a certain group of people, direct and indirect incomes. That effect is also being felt, right? Mm -hmm. Then we had all these schemes 
to do with get uh, you know fantastic interest rate schemes which were also proliferating under the previous government and which naturally with the restructuring of the banking sector uh, had to come to a sudden end holding and locking onto depositor funds in, in, in ways that made it difficult for them to recover. That also is impacting in this short term. So from that transitional period where you are trying to put things right and getting the fundamentals correct, getting interest rates aligned, getting inflation aligned, getting the productive sector going, you will find that these other issues have impact on a large, a fairly large segment mm. of the population who are going to recover, who have hope of recovery. Mm. And why am I saying there's hope of recovery? There's hope because the larger frame has been sorted, mm. has been put right. That's why the fundamentals are sound. Mm. 